Well, I was born on Palm Island. It's, uh, that's the largest uh, mission in Australia. It's just off the coast of uh, Townsville in Queensland. Um, I left the island uh, when I was eight years old, 1957. Didn't actually leave the island. Um, voluntarily, we had to leave because my father was one of the ring leaders involved in a uprising riot. Mrs. Alana Koori lives in Redfern with her husband, a labourer, and her daughter and twin sons. My father first started off by, you know, fighting for his rights at that stage. And uh, the fight's in me. And uh, I'm glad that, you know, that he did stand up for his rights. I remember vaguely um, waking up one morning and, you know, I could hear my... There was a lot of clanging and banging going on. It was, must have been about four or five in the morning. And uh, they were taking my father away. Until the twins were born six months ago, Mrs. Corey worked for the Aboriginal Legal Service. On the basis of that experience, she has the feeling that Aborigines are oppressed on every hand. Because they have sort of nowhere to go and they just... Uh, roam around the place besides, you know, the, the white community doesn't want to sort of accept them like there's only sort of two hotels where they kind of can go regularly. Um, and then when they do go there, they, well, they're being harassed by, you know, different people. Um, oh, what do you mean different people? You mean the police? Well, the police for one. I mean, they, yeah, they're always uh, harassing the blacks. Uh, there's a lot of police intimidation going on around here where, you know, we've had a lot of this through the, through the legal aid. We sort of got nothing if we haven't got our land, for instance. You know, I mean, the, the country we're living in now is not really our country, is it? I mean, we, sometimes we feel like we're immigrants, you know, and it's not our land. That's the way I feel. <laughs> 